What kind of tools do I need? The type of tools you need really depends on what you might already have in your shop and what kind of shop you want to make for yourself. In my case, when I do carving, I use the angle grinder, a die grinder, and a rotary tool with this flex shaft attachment. Now, each one of these tools has a different shank size and bore size. The bore size refers to the size of this arbor on the angle grinder, and in this case, this is a 7 8 inch bore. You just put that on there like that, make sure it's seated properly, and put the nut on. To secure it. Now the way this works is that as this turns it actually tightens this nut so that doesn't have to be on too tight. Always make sure you unplug your tool before putting on or changing your grinding discs. Sabretooth has different bore sizes available for different types of tools. Now this particular die grinder has a one quarter inch collet which takes the one quarter inch shank. Insert that in almost all the way. You don't want it to be right out at the end like that because that's not safe and it could possibly come loose. You want it to be far enough in so that the collet can grip on it pretty well. The safety measure. And this particular tool came with wrenches to tighten it. And a good thing to do to tighten it, make it so that your tools are kind of pretty close to each other like this so you can just grip it like a pair of pliers. Just snug it up. It doesn't have to be super tight. Otherwise you won't get it off. Do the same thing to take it off. Just make it so it's a pair of pliers. You can grip it easily and it comes loose pretty easily. Now this particular tool here has a 1 8 inch collet which takes the 1 8 inch shanks. Again, it's very same to the, similar to the die grinder. Insert it in almost all the way. I like to leave a little bit of space between the cutter head and the collet. Just use the wrench that came with the tool to snug it up. Again, it doesn't have to be super tight. Just make sure it's snug at all. Just like that. Buzzouts and carving cups are a little bit different. They go on the die grinder, but you need an adapter to use them. This is the carving cup adapter, and this is the buzzout adapter. Buzzout adapter comes with two washers that go on the outside of the buzzout. You put the washer on first and screw the buzzout. Put the other washer on and then the nut to hold it together. Make sure you snug that up with a wrench. In this case, this is a 9 16th inch nut. So once that's together, just insert it into the die grinder same way as you would a normal shank. The cup adapter is a little bit different because it has a left hand thread on it simply because of the direction of the tool spinning. So again, just put the cup on. Once it is all the way on, you just put the washer that comes with it on and the nut. Again, left hand thread. You can just snug it up with the 9 16 wrench. Because of the direction that this spins, it has to be a left hand thread, otherwise this would spin itself off. And similar as before, you just put it in the die grinder like that, snug it up. Remember to always unplug your tool before putting on a new burr. Make sure you use proper safety precautions. I always wear protective eyewear or even my face shield most of the time to protect my face and eyes. And of course I always wear a dust mask here in the shop. I hope that was helpful. Now go make some dust.